Wow, that motorbike trip with Charles to Arambo. So invigorating. Yeah. Okay. Back at Joe Bananas. Uh, almost noon. Waiting for... Oh, there's the flip-flops. Watch out for those coconut roots, Eddie. Boom, boom. He greets his uh, fellow uh, Joe Banana friends. Yeah, and here we go. Well, I'm saying this this interview ought to be wild. Liberated Danish chicks meet uh, California hipster at his prime. Yeah. Sophisticated Copenhagen. Alas. Yeah. Eddie breathes uh, uh, fresh Nordic air. <sighs> and he mellows out. First impression, lack of violent energy in the atmosphere in Denmark. You remember, he grew up in a tough working class neighborhood during the Depression, often taunted because of his deformed hand. Challenge to fight, yeah. Well, okay. Eddie's finally in Europe after 39 years. And uh, he shops his novel around to two publishers. Copenhagen. Okay. First publisher comments... Uh, well, uh, there's no censorship in Denmark, but we do not dare print this. Erotic novel. <clears throat> the other publisher says, look, even famous people like uh, Sart and Kabo uh, are not profitable in Denmark. It's just too small of a country. Not enough book uh, buyers. That, uh, yeah. And, well, undaunted, Eddie queries the very liberal publisher in Paris, Olympia Press. Uh, he telephones Paris. The man in charge picks up the phone and patiently explains to Eddie that censorship uh, is easing in America while increasing in Europe. Uh, ah! Eddie feels a sting of irony when... Uh, he realizes he may have uh, moved over to Europe at an inopportune moment, as far as his book goes. So. Uh, something very insightful is happening right here. Um, I've noticed it uh, as his biographer. Uh, when he's unable to fulfill an aspiration, Eddie seems to shift away from that aspiration and to use the failure itself as a power to grow. Like uh, when he uh, failed to play string bass in New York City. He transcended that identity and became a novelist in California. Uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. He <laughs> is like... Uh, Astra, yeah, and you know, he makes friends easily, and the hipster soon gets hip that uh, there's more sexually eager uh, Danish women around than apartments. Uh, so he finds casual, short term shelter and apartment with a young Danish babe named Linde. Yeah. He also befriends Jacques, a French uh, writer, and Gordon, a painter. Uh, he and Gordon frequent, uh, you know, art openings and hang out at, like, the free food snack table. <laughs> Survivors, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, look at uh, Eddie's book trip is in limbo. And <laughs> freezing northern European winter. ooh. -hoo. Well, Eddie makes his natural survival mover, a maneuver. Yeah. He travels to Spain and Gibraltar. He takes a boat to fabulous Morocco. Marrakesh. <laughs> yeah. Hangs out with Charles, a young painter from New York. And uh, Eddie lives in a vermin-infested uh, 
room in the Cosma. Uh, he blisses out wandering the souk marketplace. Whoa, gazing at color, inhaling exotic fragrances. Uh, on an old frayed Moroccan carpet, he smokes a clay hookah of hashish. Kif, the genie of Kif smoke, and he falls back. Ah, oh, and disappears in time. Oh, wow, an international dateline ripples across the scene in Morocco. The date is uh, November 22nd, 1963. President Kennedy is assassinated? Well, <laughs> this provokes uh, intense con uh, conversations among the expatriates in Morocco about how extremely violent Americans are. Oh, and he's so relieved to be out of the madness of the United States, yeah. Oh, uh, good news from California. Life-altering snail mail. Uh, from Glenn, uh, slithers all the way to the Cosmo in Marrakesh. Uh, former wife and prostitute extraordinaire, yeah. She's selling that income property in Los Angeles, for of which Eddie owns half. Uh, and the thought of getting a big, fat settlement check <laughs> mailed to him to Copenhagen, motivating. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to get back uh, in that Nordic postal system to get that letter of a lifetime. <laughs> Packs his bag, says, farewell, Morocco. Travels back to Denmark. What's that got to say? How old is Eddie at this time? It's a little bit touch in with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Eddie is 40 years old. Dear. Coming up, 1964. 